27 this morning. It's kind of a bit of a dream come true to be running on this highway, coming past the Natural Energy Lab, running into Kylo Okona. It's unreal. It's unreal. It makes the pain worth it. In 10 months, I'll be in Kona, Hawaii. Oh, pretty stoked. Hi, I'm Drew Kenworthy, and I'm a filmmaker. I love documenting stories about everyday people doing amazing things. I'm Scott McDermott. I'm an ultra-distance triathlete, and I am training this year for the Ultraman World Championships in Kona, Hawaii. I was with my wife earlier this year watching the Banff Mountain Film Festival World Tour, and it occurred to me as I was watching these amazing people attempt these amazing things that there was a place to build a documentary about the journey for an average guy like me to try and compete at the Ultraman World Championships. These three are the, the greatest three days you can have. But it's more than three days, it's what's happening in the build up, it's what happens afterwards as well. Because people always say, oh, it must be really hard to, to do that race. And yeah, the race is really hard, but what's harder is all of the training every day for a year leading up to the race. It's just too, yeah. right? And it's the same here. Like I told you when I first started. That. I've seen people make this a goal, and it is put everything on hold goal. You have to change the way you train. You can't have missed days. Consistency is king. You simply, it's just such an overwhelming task. It's not like any other race. It's such a big event on, on so many different levels, financially, physically, the sacrifices needed to execute the day well. That tastes like a crap sandwich. Whole wheat, no butter. I think with very few exceptions, people go to Ultraman thinking, I want to win. Everybody else has goals in mind but they all involve doing it with dignity. Ultraman's a different kind of race. There's no prize money. It's not about positioning or, it's about family, it's about spirit. And it's, uh, it's a phenomenal race that way. And of course, I'm not a pro athlete. I have a job, I have a family. So the expenses on doing something like this are pretty high. We have to have accommodations at training camp and the qualifying race and then of course a month in Hawaii. It's a lot of fun, I promise you we're gonna have a blast. You're gonna see some highs and lows, but uh, it's gonna be a hoot. I had to switch my tire out, so the bearings were gone in my, the tire that I had. Putting on a 11, 20, That's where it's 7, or 12, 28. When you're climbing a mountain like Mount Lemon, it gives you more mechanical advantage, so you can climb without running out of legs. <laughs> when Scott got back from his race in 2013, he gave me a hard drive of footage. Just said, here, take something and make something out of it. I was amazed. There was just like such an amazing story that just came out of all these random clips. Wow, my buddy just finished Ultraman World Championships, and this is what he wanted to finish. Hi, Scott. I'm Catherine, and I'm delivering your venti caramel brulee frappuccino. Congratulations! Oh, and there it is, Scott. There it is. We really need your help. We can't do this without you. Just real clear, you're gonna enjoy coming along this journey with me.